What's up guys? We are on the way to the Naval Station here in Jacksonville, Mayport, to pick up Robert Cooper. Mr. Robert Cooper himself. Again. Again. Uh, he's gonna be home for nine days. And he goes underway again. And then he goes underway for three more weeks. And then he comes back home. And they'll be on leave or whatever. And setting up for the meet. And yeah. I mean, you guys don't know about it. Yeah, it was announced on our Instagram. I think Dalton posted it on the Instagram. Uh, just kind of a little sneak peek there, or whatever you guys want to call it. Well, we'll make a for sure video and yeah, a per, like a, an actual announcement video this weekend. This weekend, yeah. Um, so you guys will be getting this stuff today, and yeah, we're gonna go get Rob. So Woo. we'll turn the camera back on when we uh, when we get down there yeah, and get lost on Mayport. Yay! Later. your boss? Yeah. Oh! This is canceled. And see, look, we upgraded her up. I know. But we are big boys now. Stay. It's still so cool. About to put a dip in when we're walking down the pier. You need more space? A lot of it. No, I got a spinner. And Davis was like, no spec in the car with my wife. I was like, fuck! Oh, 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 camera. Oh, okay, finally. Alright, guys. We got Robert. I don't know if you can see him. Hey. He's probably tucked in the seat off later, man. What? Oh. Well, we're gonna drive all the way back home now. And. We get Rob's reaction to my car and his car. Yeah. And his reaction to his dog. Yes, oh my god. Because you haven't seen your fucking dog. I know. So we'll check back in with you guys when we get home. Because I bet you they could. 240 race car. Oh, drift missile. Drift missile. <laughs> oh, another drift missile. Oh, camera out of focus. <laughs> Right. Are they yeah. saying they want to blow us up or bro us up? <laughs> they want to bro us up, dude. They want to be bros. Okay, so as you can tell, I'm back finally. It's nice to come back from an underway, and it's definitely nice to be back in the doghouse. Uh, one of the only good things about being underway is you get to save money, and what I do with that money is I buy fucking car parts. So And masturbate a lot. That has nothing to do with my money. That has to do with my time. All right, so this is the agency power... Um, 
adjustable blow-off valve. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail with it. Actually, I don't even have to go into detail. It's like a five-second install. Literally, you just pop a couple of hoses off and put the new one on. The only thing that I'm concerned about that you guys would be concerned about if you're installing it is this adjustable part. So you just have to tweak it, mess with it yourself, or talk to a tuner or whatever. So all you got to do, loosen these bands on here and then pull the clip off of the vacuum hose, pop the fucking stock uh, blow up valve off, and then put the new one in. It's extremely simple. I've got two other parts to install, which will have videos of their own. And I'm hoping that the installs go well. So, this is your stock blow-off valve, which does not have a vent to atmosphere, uh, which I'm not going to be using anyway, but... And this is the agency power. As you can see, it's a little bit bigger. Well, not really. It looks better, and the main point with this is that it's adjustable, and the, the spring is better. It's a lot more durable, and it looks better. So. Literally, you put it in the same exact way that you took the other one out. I have the plug in here because, like I said, I'm not using the vent atmosphere because A, I've heard bad things about it, and B, I'd, what's the point? So, I'm just going to put this. Oh, hey, everybody. That's Park. That's mm. my buddy Park from the ship. He got out of the Navy today. So, congratulate Woo! him. Happy DD-214 day. Woo! When Very, people say stupid things, you can say, I have my DD-214 <laughs> blanket. And it protects you from the stupid bullshit from the military. You tell, him, tell him what you asked, uh, what's your face? The, when do I get my blanket? Oh, yeah. <laughs> your your DD-214 blanket? Exactly. Good. It's going to be a warm night without one. Ooh, that would have been bad. What? Need a broke it. <laughs> right. Brand new fucking blow-off valve. Oh, I broke it on install. Sounds like the Rob thing to do. It does. <laughs> Ooh, that sounds <laughs> <good>. <laughs> And the hard part is going to be adjusting it. Like I said, I'm probably going to have uh, Travis get in the car and rev the engine and watch the, the boost gauge there. And then while I adjust it and try and get it to blow off at a good PSI. Unfortunately, it's not a stepper. It's not gonna be not gonna sound cool like that, but like I said, it is gonna be a nice tight smooth blow off That bitch is loud. Yeah? God damn. Loud, ain't it? Hey, Bo, that sounds like a race car. <laughs> that guy right I am that guy no Mike's that guy now he has a 240 <coughs>
more boost. That was a cop over there, although I'm pretty sure he was at his house. He lives there. Yeah. Woo! Nerves calmed. I got those other two parts to install. So uh, coming up next, we've got a wide band O2 sensor because I need to be able to tell whether I'm gonna blow myself up or not. And uh, a fuel pressure regulator by Fuel Lab. That one is gonna be a fucking doozy. And it's, I'm probably gonna include a lot of uh, in-depth information on that one because it's pretty in-depth and I cannot find a video on YouTube. So I would like to be a first. Hey guys, uh, as you can see I'm back. This is probably, I don't know what order we're going to post them in, but this would be the second install so far since I've been home. About three days. Uh, as you can see, I got my car up on stands. I got the hood open, all that stuff. Uh, that's because I'm going to be installing the Pro Sport uh, Wide Band Air Fuel Ratio Gauge. Uh, so what that entails is, you know, they have, it comes with a O2 sensor which luckily my aftermarket exhaust already has an open hole for it and it screws right in beautifully. Turbo XS? Turbo XS, beautiful. Uh, oh, before I forget to mention, I got this, my Turbo XS exhaust and literally everything else that I buy, I get it from lancershop.com. I wanna thank them for uh, their recent, whatever you wanna call it. You wanna throw a link in below for them? Yes, yeah, link. We'll definitely uh, put a link in, uh, in the description. In the description, or maybe Mike can work his magic and put a little click on the video thing. A ding, <laughs> ding. <laughs> so, uh, with that being said, I got a the the plan should be relatively quick, but uh, I'm gonna have to take the wiring from the gauge, put all the basically make everything run to this central location right here where my other fuse box is. And then uh, I do have to run some wires through to that fuse box. And for sake of ease, I'm gonna be running the wiring from the new O2 sensor in the same manner. To Sorry about that box. sun, guys. Because the way this works is it's got this central computing thing. <laughs> <laughs> and you got wires coming out all over the place. It's a lot more simple than it looks, but it just means that it's not as easy as a boost gauge, which is just wires straight to the engine bay and then a hose, so. That being said, I'm going to get started with the sensor, which I already have ready to go down there. Camera, or come around on this side if you want, just because so I can show them. Yeah, there you go. Uh. Oh, oh, it's recording right now. <laughs> okay. Um, this is the. Uh, aftermarket exhaust bung for the O2 sensor. Uh, that's the, uh, the stock sensor and the, the downwind one is over there somewhere. Uh, but this, this exhaust came with this. So my wideband sensor just screws right in. If I can hang on the head back to me and I'll, uh, yeah, I'm on this side for you. Alright guys, going for a ride. Yeah. It's a little little tight down here. I didn't jack it up too high. <sighs> Alright, uh, crescent wrench. It's over there somewhere if you can hang it down. That'll work. Thank you. There's a door there, I think. Nope. <laughs> oh, is that Mikey? Mikey always shows up in videos. Yeah. Look, oh, there's Mikey. Drifting around the corner with his uh, well, the diff. The diff. That should be good. You don't want to over tighten it, but I just want to make Snug. sure it's in there. All right. Now is the fun part. I'm gonna have to 
figure out a way to run the wire up through the engine bay and hand it to Travis. But keeping it away from the exhaust. Yes, while well, keeping it away from hot things. So we're gonna do that <laughs> and check in with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> So is that coming up through your firewall? No. The inner fender right here? Where... It uh, it actually drops into the skirt and then goes up around the fender. Through here. Um, so I'm trying to figure out how the fuck I'm supposed to do that in reverse because the first time I ran it this way, but I can't really do that because this cannon plug needs to be in the engine bay and it's not enough room for that. Oh, yeah, you don't want to cut that. No. <laughs> That's too much work. Whipping the subs. <laughs> Gotta take a break from Rob's awesomeness to go to O'Reilly. I and need uh, some of those little things you can use to put in the fuse to where you don't have to just shove a wire in there. The getaway, it's got the little tap on the back of it. Yeah. Because I'm going to be tapping off of the same fuses that I used for my uh, boost gauge, and there's already not much room for another wire in there. So, all right, you gonna backfire in the subi? No, it's just it's the amp on the sub. <laughs> all right. My favorite thing about walking around with a massive camera like this is everybody looks at us. They are right here. Here you go, bud. I got a couple of them. I'm gonna need a couple of them. I only got a couple. <laughs> Those are the right. They're mini fuses, right? They're not these large ones. No, I don't have the large ones. Well, I do have some of the large ones, but but you're using the smaller ones. I think so. All right. Yeah, absolutely. Do I have anything else? Any more somewhere? You might be able to ask them if I got some in the back. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, I'm gonna need at least three. Three? Yeah. I got three wires. <laughs> three power sources. Well, no, actually I do only need two. I got, oh, I got two power sources and then I have the headlight switch and then the other wire is ground, so yeah, I do need a third one. Right, let me turn this thing off now. Yes, sir. I'm fine. What is that, like a cough? Yeah. Like a, like my throat kind of. So, are you filming right so now? So the instructions, uh. They blew away. <laughs> <laughs> so, I know. He got one. I know. He got two Shush, Raleigh, are you okay? He got one piece of the instruction manual right there. Actually, you know what? I don't even need it because I just realized that it's a 50 50 thing. Uh, I know two of the four wires. The other two, I know which ones they are just by proxy. The orange one is for the headlights, the black one is the ground. So that, means, that leaves red and white for power. Never mind. I'm good. Would you look at that? Rob got in front of the camera and instantly he knew what he was doing. <laughs> Raleigh, are you okay? What are you guys doing? Yeah, you. What you doing, dude? <laughs> um crimping these into the fuse block extension thing, add a circuit, whatever you call it. Oh, that's a nifty little setup. That's Pro Sport? The gauge? Yes. Um, all my gauges are Pro Sport. <laughs> there you go. Here, we'll tell you a little bit about Rob's car. And... We're done telling you about it. <laughs> hold on, hold on. There's one more thing you should know about Rob's car. I've got more. It's the illest, obviously. I've got more things that just they just don't come with stickers most of the time. So you got your Chase Bays. Yeah, got my Chase Bays. 
which I tried to sell and give away. I even tried to give it away and nobody wants it. That's how Somebody wanted it, but I, we never heard back from him. Yeah, we asked him for his address to give it to him, and he never, never heard back. Yeah. All right, bro. So, uh, we uh, got it all set up and working and everything. Uh, it's not cleaned up yet. I just wanted to test it before I talk to you guys about it. But um, basically, uh, I already have a, a boost gauge installed, so I just kind of you know went off of that. And in here, in this fuse panel down here, you got two fuses that you use for power, and then a ground. And then you just run the uh, the wire to the fuse panel over here, so that you can change the color of it. Uh, that is probably the most frustrating part because you got to go through the, the fender and everything and comes out here, but. So we're just gonna button everything back up and then uh, take it for a test spin. Rad. <laughs> You're alive. Oh, I'm live. You're live. So uh, last night, we were supposed to do this last night, but uh, it got kind of late, it was really dark, and uh, Travis fell asleep. That is my fault. <laughs> it's clearly my fault. So uh, I didn't want to wake little princess up. So I took it for a drive, and uh, I've been driving a little bit today, finally getting a chance to do this for you guys, uh, which is good, actually, because I got an opportunity to actually learn what my car's doing before I talk out my ass about it. Um, but the install obviously went well. Uh, the wideband is doing everything it's supposed to do, but now I get to see what my car is doing. And uh, I'm running a little bit rich. I knew I would be, uh, just not as bad as I expected. Supposed to uh, it's supposed to be around like 11 to 12 ish from what I read online at wide open throttle. That wasn't even wide open throttle, and I dumped all the way down to 10. So, you know, I am running rich. I knew I would be, but uh, that's nothing a tuner can't fix, you know. But you know, wide band looks beautiful. Now I just need to figure out how to change the colors because I used to be able to change the color on my boost gauge, and I can't anymore. <laughs> Annoying. V vehicle electronics, man. They, uh, they're a bit tricky. All right. Well, I do believe that's it, huh? That's it. Just going to Walmart for dinner. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Later, guys. <laughs>